Hello, good morning. This is Siva Devaki from uh, Mass Mailer. Uh, today I'm going to talk about um, how to manage suppressions in a uh, Mass Mailer, which is a very important topic. Just to summarize, um, Mass Mailer suppression record mean, means that uh, an email gets into this suppression, or rather, uh, if you find an email, um, the Mass Mailer suppression record in Mass Mailer, it is associated with a specific object and also it'll have a specific email address. So anytime that you're trying to send an email to that particular email address, will get auto suppressed. Uh, so that's the kind of a concept behind this. Um, and when do we create this mass mailer suppression record? Whenever you find, or rather, whenever somebody unsubscribes from your emails, uh, maybe their email address is uh, hardbound, or maybe they flag your email as a spam report, uh, that's when um, the email suppression record uh, gets created. Also, um, if you are using mass mail or verifier, we also validate the email address uh, behind the scenes um, and then uh, store that uh, status value back in uh, uh, Salesforce in um, an object called mass mail or email verify status. Whenever there's any email uh, verification status, such as invalid, spam trap, abuse, or do not email. Uh, even those ones are also um, created as a suppression list record in Mass Mailer. Uh, and those ones do get out of suppressed. So that's a um, important feature that we have and which is uh, uh, very useful, especially when you're trying to send out emails uh, because you don't wanna take the headache of uh, filtering those uh, invalids and all of them when you're sending out email, it should be done automatically for you by the system. Now, let's take a look at uh, how to manage these uh, suppressions. Um, you can add a single object or a single email record uh, into the suppressions by uh, going to that particular uh, record details page and then add it to your suppression list. That's one way. Or you can actually add it from a list view that is mass mail list view, uh, which is a custom object. Uh, and then um, add the list of um, contacts and leads uh, from that to mass mailer suppression list. Um, that's another option. Uh, and then you can uh, delete the suppression records uh, one at a time uh, from the suppression record um, uh, view or from the Salesforce object, uh, which is a, again, a related object on any Salesforce, like such as uh, leader contact will also have a, a related uh, suppression list record, and you can also delete it from there. So there are two options that you have. Um, and also if you are using uh, leads or contacts to send out email uh, provided, uh, you have enabled uh, the feature to sync the email opt-out field on the leader contact, uh, you can um, like have a two-way synchronization between the unsubscribe events and the email opt-out field on these two. Uh, objects with its leads or uh, contacts. Let's uh, take a quick look at this uh, suppressions. You will find a tab here called uh, mass mail mass mail suppression list. So when you go here, uh, you would actually see the uh, suppression list. I uh, can do all, or you can actually just go create your own uh, filtered list of uh, um, records from here. So as you can see, anything that's invalid or maybe the bounce or maybe group unsubscribe, uh, they all are stored here as um, um, suppression list records. Um, and again, if you ever wanted to remove someone from this particular uh, suppression, so all you need to do is just go delete and then it is gonna remove that suppression list record for you. Uh, so that's one option, right? Um, or else you can also go to the uh, respective uh, object um, and then you can uh, delete it from there. So we're gonna take a look at uh, how to do that in a moment. So let's say um, we have this particular record and that's associated with a specific uh, contact. And if you go to the contact, uh, so you will see this suppression list as a related list. So all you have to do is just go delete uh, this record from there. And that also deletes that suppression list, uh, record as well behind the scenes. And 
Um, so that's basically how you can actually uh, delete it. And, uh, um, and again, if you ever wanted to add something to a suppression list record, you have multiple options again. Uh, you can go to, um, uh, a contact here, right? Or a lead object or any other object uh, that is enabled in mass mailer. And um, uh, you'll be able to see the suppression list uh, um, right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go delete what we have here to start with so that we have a clean uh, record. So I deleted that. And then now we go back to that uh, particular contact. Uh, so let's just go back to the contact. Sometimes it takes time to load up uh, the lightning page. Okay. Uh, seems like I loaded a different uh, contact now. <laughs> it has a suppression list. So never mind. Let's just go create a, a new suppression list. So what I would do, click on that new. And now you have an option to add this particular record into uh, the suppression, whether you can say this as a, a unsubscribe or a bounce or spam report or manual, maybe, you know, this is a, a brand new uh, option that we came up with. Um, if you think that it does not belong to um, either one of these three, then you can actually just use the manual option, okay? Uh, so that is how you do it. And then that creates a suppression list record behind the scenes. And this is um, a, an useful feature if at all you want to do it like one contact or one lead or one object at a time. But if you actually want to do it like a, a, a bulk, you can always go create a, a list view, mass mailer list view. Um, this is the only way you can add it in bulk. And then here you will see an option called uh, add to suppression list. Uh, so once you have that uh, uh, pulled up, and now you have an option to add this uh, to unsubscribe or bounce or spam report. Uh, so th those options are available. So if I just say spam report and then save, um, you know, it basically creates a suppression list record behind the scenes. Uh, so that's how you basically add that uh, to the suppression list, okay? So that's how you can add and you can delete. Um, and finally, um, if you ever wanted to synchronize the leader contact, uh, as I mentioned, uh, you have an option to do it uh, the email, with the email opt out. Uh, so let's say this is not opted out, as you can see. If you want to opt out, uh, and then I'll go to the, um, Okay, I'm gonna take a look at what the suppression list record is. This is of type uh, spam report. This is because we just added it from a list view. Uh, so let's just go back here, contact, and then I'm gonna go to the details. Uh, so if I select this option called email opt out and then save this. Now, what I'm doing is I'm actually adding this to the unsubscribe. So it's called global unsubscribe. So if we go to the related, uh, it would have created a brand new uh, record here, the suppression list. And this is basically um, an unsubscribe uh, uh, suppression list, as you can see from here, okay? So that's how you can actually synchronize the, uh, the lead object, uh, the contact object with the suppression list. And if you uh, delete this, uh, it also um, basically removes that email opt out. So basically if you go back here, um, and then if you delete this particular record, and then if you go back to the particular contact, go to the details page you can see that the email opt-out is unchecked. Uh, so that's how you basically synchronize. And how do you enable that? Uh, you can enable that by going to the mass media setup, uh, the tracking settings page, 
And then uh, here um, is an option to sync lead contact email opt out fields in Salesforce. Uh, so that's how you basically uh, synchronize the lead contact email field uh, with uh, the submissions. So that's uh, pretty much it. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us. Uh, here is the contact information, uh, my email address, phone number, um, and our company website, and also the email address. Uh, feel free to um, contact us on these uh, channels. And if you're interested in um, uh, joining this uh, upcoming webinar next week, uh, feel free to take a look at our website. We will post it um, uh, prior to the event. We also send out an email if you're part of our email list. We also publish this to your uh, to our social channel. So you can uh, look at us, um, you know, uh, the webin upcoming webinar information um, by several means. Once again, thank you so much for joining the webinar today. Um, have a great day or have a, have a great evening. Bye-bye.